one of the reasons why Christmas is so hard. I mean, it's a nice gesture, but oh my gosh. I gotta remember that this doesn't serve me. And why am I even looking? But I just wanna show you what I have to deal with on a daily basis. Just more treats that I must avoid during this Christmas season. Must keep it carnivore, must keep it carnivore. A couple years ago, I cried over a boyfriend that had left me that was so bad for me and I missed him. But um, he was bad for my life and it was a good thing that he was no longer in it. And a uh, better man came along. Sorry, I got interrupted. I'm back again. Anyways, I have to look at those things like donuts and chocolates as a bad ex-boyfriend I no longer want in my life. Because my life is truly better without the bad boyfriend, without the donuts, without the chocolate. Okay, I just had my uh, first dose of the COVID uh, vaccine from Pfizer in this arm. Let's see if it still works. Yeah, I think it even works better. Okay, carnivore meal for December 23rd. Ground beef, salmon, some pork fat suet, um, eggs, I have three of them, Redmond's real salt, and uh, some olive oil for condiment. So, let us begin. Okay, what to start with first? My ground beef. So a pound of ground beef. I think it's day 11 or 12 of carnivore. Can't really remember. I'll figure that out when I'm done. <laughs> you know, a lot of people prefer ribeye, and I like ribeye, but I actually prefer just straight up ground beef. Mm. Egg as per usual. And this is um, fatty ground beef. Is it 75, 25? I think it's the fattiest ground beef. And that egg just just elevates it. Okay, how about some pork fat, suet. Okay. I really love that pork fat. My boyfriend, who's Jewish, still loves me, <laughs> even though I'm a huge pork eater. The 
the one time he did get mad at me once because I had um, some pork blood in the refrigerator and I accidentally spilled it all over. And he stepped in it. Not my finest moment. I was going to make the nguan. It's a Filipino dish. Back when I was doing cooked carnivore. And I spilled pork blood all over the kitchen. But now that I'm moving, I'm going to have a much bigger kitchen. Things like that won't happen again. Me and my boyfriend are moving Christmas Day. I don't have a lot of days off. And I don't want to take any days off. So I'm lucky I actually have Christmas off um, this year. Usually I work all holidays. But lucky, no Christmas this year. I have off. And I'm going to use that day off to move. Okay, I finished my ground beef and eggs, all three. Time for my salmon. Also finished my pork fat suet. A little bit of olive oil. I'm going to drizzle. And some salmon. So good. Now that I don't eat sugar, I consider fish my dessert. This Christmas season and after I'm staying in shape by keeping it carnivore and I'm going to keep fasting one meal a day is fine when you eat like this